When you connect your iPod through the USB and auxiliary ports, not only can you play it through the audio system, you'll be able to control it using the audio system controls as well. When using your iPod, there are some things to keep in mind. First, a special Kia iPod power cable is required to connect your iPod to the navigation system. This cable is available from your Kia dealer. In addition, always practice the following steps when connecting and disconnecting your iPod. 1. Start your Kia before connecting your iPod. 2. Allow time after connecting an iPod for your audio navigation system to recognize it. And 3. Never disconnect an iPod from your audio navigation system while the iPod is in use. Connecting an iPod to the USB port should automatically activate iPod mode. If it doesn't, press the media key on the control panel until the iPod indicator appears in the top left corner of the touchscreen. To select a song on the iPod, press the seek and track keys on the control panel, up or down. Press the up and down arrow keys on the steering wheel, or press the previous and next track buttons on the touchscreen. You can select a new song manually by turning the two knob left or right until the desired song appears on the screen. Then, press the knob to play. You can also list songs according to certain criteria. Just press the menu button, and you'll see options to list songs by playlist, artist, album, song, title, genre, and composer. You can also find and select podcasts and audiobooks stored on your iPod. Press one of these criteria, and from the list that appears, select the desired file. To manually pause the music, select the pause button on the navigation touchscreen. To play, select the play button. So that's a quick review of the iPod's functionality. For more information on iPod mode, including voice commands, check your digital navigation system owner's manual or the navigation system quick reference guide.